In this video, I'm going to show you the only three bot trading strategies that I'm currently using in 3Commerce. We got one strategy for sideways markets, one for trending markets to the upside, and I'm sure you can guess the third one. As always, there's no financial advice for educational and entertainment purposes only. With that being said, welcome back to the channel. I'm Timo from Block Research, full-time algorithmic trader and 3Commerce ambassador. Let's jump right in. All right, so here we are on my screen and we're gonna start with the first one, which is gonna be the bot that works on sideways. Basically it works in, in any condition, but uh, out of this portfolio, it's the most sideways relevant strategy. I learned from the recent crash, any crypto can go to zero basically, maybe even Ethereum, although it's highly unlikely. But if we know something won't go to zero, it's going to be definitely Bitcoin. So this is the only bot I would be running on as, as soon as possible. That will be running day and night, no matter what. And we're still going to have a safety of like 36%, even on Bitcoin. I mean, that's a huge move. But in case this happens, um, we're going to catch the wick and Bitcoin always bounces. So this is quite a safe setup, in my opinion. And really, I wouldn't use it on anything else than Bitcoin to start at any market condition. So yeah, these are my settings, starting very small as always. Um, why? Why starting small? Because this is your, especially in ASAP, this is your buffer. If you start so small and it goes completely against you, it doesn't really matter. Actually, you want that, you want to accumulate, you want to drag down your average entry price. So take profit, I found most profitable with back testing and all the forward testing I did um, at around 2%. It can be a little bit higher if you're trending up, it can be a little bit lower when you're trending down. But since this is for sideways and basically any condition, uh, I found this to be a good value. Safety order is 10 and we continue in that fashion. We double up our safety orders and this will give us something like 6, 12, 21, 42 and so on, obviously. More importantly, you can look on the right hand side here. This is your total position size. Of course, it depends what account size you have. You have to uh, manage this accordingly. So don't please don't use any leverage ever. If you don't have 10K or more, don't go up to 10K. Maybe just go up to 2.5 and then um, spread out the price deviation and the step scale. So when, when you go higher here, instead of going higher here, it's more conservative because you don't accumulate so much on the, on the top end of the trade. And when, when you have this like at 0 0.5 and go up here, um, you're going to have more drawdown if, if you dip down. So for a conservative strategy, I find this a quite a good ratio. This doesn't matter so much, just if you have very quick market movements, this can help you to get all the orders filled, basically. All right, I think that's all you can say about the ASAP settings. Let's move on with the second most easy one to set up, which is gonna catch the wigs to the downside. Uh, I made another video on that already. You can click the link if you wanna see how the settings are in detail. Um, the only thing I changed here is to go even a little bit higher from 10 to 12. And on some of my accounts, I forgot, <laughs> actually, I forgot to put in the daily volume. This is very, very important, guys. Have a volume of at least 20 BTC. You see, this is always in BTC here. And this will make it even safer. You can you can try high, higher numbers there if you're more conservative. Um, but 20 should be fine. And now the most exciting and most profitable one. We finally got our blog Algo website live. You can purchase the Algo here and put it straight into your trading view. And from there, send the alerts via the three commas webhook to your bots and trigger them. So once you've been assigned, you will find your copy of the blog Algo Flex in the invite only scripts. Click on it to get it on your chart. And the uh, default mode will look a little bit messy. So what I'm currently using is um, very simple confluence actually. It's just the EMA price, super trend, and the range filter. All the weights just gonna stay at one. And it's important to have the trend strength on 100. So what this means is 100% of these, at the moment, just three signals, will need to say buy or sell, and then the alert will be fired. So yeah, this is how it would look like on your chart. And as always, you can 
add an alert to this specific condition. You choose the block I reflex and long or short. I only do longs in general because shorting is so much more risky, you know. A coin can go up 200, 300, 10,000 percent, but can, can only go down to 100. So risk to reward, especially if you combine this with dollar cost averaging, it's uh, so much lower the risk for longs. So you would put this to uh, long once per bar close, and then you will find the webhook on help dot three commas dot io and just take this copy it to your clipboard put it here and this is where you put the alert message from your bot from three commas so these are the coins i am currently trading but obviously you can trade any asset any stock any forex with the block agroflex let's just take a random example here how i did set them up so for theta i'm starting with a little bit bigger base order here because most of the time I see the block algo doesn't trigger any safety order. It will have a lot of zero safety order um, trades. So you don't want to work just with five or $10. So this is the only exception where I go a little bit bigger, but don't overdo it because if you start with thousand, two thousand $2,000 here, then you're going to have massive drawdowns if it goes against you. Base order could be 50, um, target profit 3%. Then you will be in the deal longer, but if you go down to 0 0.8 or something, you're gonna have actually more like a scalping kind of strategy. Also, depending on the time frame that you choose here. So I'm currently using 24 minutes for most of my signals. And then here's a little bit the tricky part. So the safety order is super small because I went to very, very slowly start to dollar cost average. If this one doesn't get um, doesn't get sold immediately in profit and then it turns into kind of an ASAP bot and you will have a huge dollar cost averaging um, down to 51 percent and once you hit these lower levels you would just need to recover 12 or 14 percent which is really great because you could say with with classical trading like okay this one doesn't didn't work out with just the base order I put my stop loss here but then you always have these losses and they can accumulate quite quickly. But with that heavy dollar cost averaging, you will have a very, very high chance of getting out of the profit of the deal, even if this first base order didn't play out to your favor. All right, so what you would need to do for the different coins is to measure their volatility. Uh, please write me in the comments if you want to know how I exactly decide each setting for each coin. Just be careful with Ape. Here I'm starting very small because um, Ape is so volatile. You don't want to have a big base order there. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe to the channel. This keeps us motivated to bring this content to you and see you next time.